Archer Insights has created a contract management module for NetSuite that allows you to create and track contracts with your vendors, customers, employees, and partners. In this video, you will see how a contract is created with the various terms and conditions, milestone payments, and more. You will also see how the contract is being enforced on the purchase orders and vendor bills. In conclusion, you'll be able to get a 360 degree view of all the transaction associated with a given contract along with the amount spent and the remaining balance. Now let's go ahead and create our first contract record in NetSuite. To create a contract, go to Contracts, Contract Details, Contract Record, New. Select the vendor name from the drop-down list. The address, phone number, and email address will auto-source if they are present on the vendor record, but you have the ability to change the value of these fields. The auto checkbox will be checked by default, which will auto generate the contract ID. But if you want to manually enter the contract ID, you can uncheck the auto checkbox and add the contract ID in the contract ID field. Now let's enter a name for this contract. Enter a description. Optionally, enter an agreement ID. This is the ID on the vendor side. If this is a child contract, then select the parent contract from the drop-down list. Otherwise, you can leave this field blank. Now let's set the contract value. The start date and the expiry date will auto-populate, but can be adjusted accordingly. The cancellation notice will default to 30, but can also be changed accordingly. Now let's select the contract type, the payment frequency, you can either set it to monthly, quarterly, or yearly. Let's set the end date action to either auto renew, expires, or cancels. Select the payment type and the receipt location. You can either select email, mail, or website. Check the healthcare professional checkbox if this contract is for a healthcare professional. Now let's set the business owner, the currency, and the currency rate. You have the option to upload documents as needed. You can upload a signed or an unsigned contract from your computer. You can do this by clicking on the plus icon beside each field. Or if you already have the document uploaded in NetSuite, you can search for the document by clicking on the drop down arrows. The contract usage section will auto-update once you've enforced a purchase order and a vendor bill to this contract. Now let's select the contract owner. It will default to the person creating the contract record, but can be changed accordingly. The department, location, subsidiary, department head, legal, and manager will auto-source from the employee record of the person whom you set as the contract owner. Now let's set the accrual type. 
the budget status and the budget status reason. Finally, let's set the contract percentage entry level. When all of the fields have been filled out, you can now click on the Save button. After saving the contract record, the contract status will be set to draft. Now let's click on the Submit for Approval button to initiate the approval process of the contract. After we've clicked on the Submit for Approval button, notice that the status has now changed to Pending Department Head Approval. We will discuss the approval process on our next video. Now let's discuss the approval process for contracts. In this sample scenario, we've set two approval levels, the department head approval and the legal approval. So after the contract record has been created and submitted for approval, it will be routed to the department head for approval. When the department head pulls up the contract record in NetSuite, he or she will see the Approve and Reject buttons. Now to approve the contract record, the approver will have to click on the Approve button. Now the contract record will now be routed to the legal department for approval. Notice that the status of the contract now says Pending Legal Review. When the legal department approver pulls up the contract record in NetSuite, he or she will see the Approve and Reject button. Now to approve the contract record, the approver will have to click on the Approve button. After the contract record has been approved by the legal team, the status of the contract will now be set to Pending Vendor Signature. The contract owner can now get back to the vendor and confirm the contract with them. Once you and the vendor reach an agreement and the vendor signed your actual contract, you can go back to this contract record in NetSuite and click on the Signed by Vendor button. Now the status of the contract will be changed to Pending Signature. The next step is to click on the Signed and Active button to activate the contract record in NetSuite. Now the contract will now say Signed and Active. You are now ready to enforce purchase orders and vendor bills to this contract. To enforce the terms of a contract when creating purchase orders, we have placed two levels of controls. First one is enforce. This means that if the total of your purchase order is more than the contract remaining amount, the system will not let you save the purchase order. Second level is warn. In this option, if your purchase order total is above the contract remaining amount, the system will only give you a warning message, but you will still be able to save the purchase order. For this demo, the level of control that we have in place is Enforce. We will be able to see the system's behavior in enforcing the contract terms. Now let's create a purchase order. Let's select the vendor from the vendor field list. Now the vendor status will be auto-sourced from the vendor record. In the contract details section, this is where you'll be able to link the contract to this purchase order. By default, the I certify this is a non-contract purchase checkbox will be checked. If you are creating a purchase order which is not linked to a contract, then you leave this checkbox checked. 
Now, if we select a contract in the contract record field, the I certify this is a non-contract purchase checkbox will automatically be unchecked for proper control. Now, the list of options that you will see here are only the contracts that are associated to this vendor. The contract start date, contract expiry date, original contract value, and contract remaining amounts will all be sourced from the contract record. Now let's go to the items tab to add the items under this purchase order. Remember that we have the enforced level of control in place. So if we enter a value here, and our contract remaining amount is $20,000. If we try to save this purchase order, we will get an error message and we won't be able to save the purchase order unless we modify the amount. Let's click the back button so we can revise the value of this purchase order. So now I'll be entering an amount which is less than the total, the contract remaining amount. And if I try to save this purchase order, the transaction will be successfully saved. Now, if we check back to the contract remaining amount field, the value has been decreased by the purchase order amount. Let's also check the contract record. The transactions tab will show you the purchase order that you've just created. You also see that the contract remaining amount has been updated and the PO total has also been updated to reflect the purchase order which you've just created. And this is how the system enforces the terms of the contract to purchase orders. The same level of control works for vendor bills. This is a standalone vendor bill for this vendor. We've linked the contract to this vendor bill by selecting the contract in the contract record field. After we created the purchase order under this contract, this is now our updated contract remaining amount. Under the enforce level of control, if I enter an amount above the contract remaining value, when I save the transaction, it will result to an error message and we will not be able to save the transaction. So this is how the system enforces the terms of the contract to vendor bills. Thank you for taking the time going through Archer Insights contract training module. To find out more about Archer Insights and how we can be your NetSuite solution provider, you may call us at 267-250-2203, or you can send us an email at sales at archerinsights.com. You can also check out our website at www.archerinsights.com for the list of services that we offer.